Hi, people. So, are you guys wondering how much it really costs to live comfortably in Korea? Let's break it down. Everything from housing to groceries. So, first question: What is the average cost of renting an apartment in Korea, and how does it vary by city? The renting cost, I think, is a bit high compared to other Asian countries. If you live in Seoul, like minimum you should be expecting is spending about 500 bucks for like one room, like really small place. One room, literally like it has one room. Not a separate room, but like if you go into a room, that's your room, that's your house. So even with that size, it costs more than 500 bucks if you live in Seoul. I mean, if you live in some place like that has been built 20 years ago, it, it will be much cheaper. But in general, the houses in Seoul are really expensive. But in Korea, there is special like unique thing called 전세, which is like deposit-based renting. If you send your deposit to landowner, then you get to live in the place for two years usually, and you will get the money back. But the problem is nowadays there are many frauds regarding that. Like you know, as I mentioned, 전세 is basically the house owner is renting your money, and you are renting the house owner's house. And usually that deposit is really big, which is about usually seventy percent of the house price. So it's a huge money. Not many of the homeowners are able to give the money back if the house owner can't find other people who want to go into the house using the Jeonse system. Because of that, there were many problems because people couldn't get their money back because house price went down and the Jeonse price went down as well. Even the house owners found other people who go into the house for the Jeonse system, but. The Jeonse price is much lower than before, so the person who was already in there couldn't receive the money that has given to the homeowner. So there was a problem like that, and still is a huge deal. But if you use that, it will be much cheaper to live in Korea. Although you will have that feeling of afraid is fraud or not. Yeah. So next question. What types of apartments or housing options are available, and how do their costs compare? So, if you come to Korea for living, basically there will be three types of houses you will be able to treat. I mean, there are more than that, but I think these three will be places where you will choose to live if you are a student or something. So, first is called one room, basically like one room. That's just one room is all you get. So it's like small place, but pretty cheap. And next is like office tell. So there are one rooms in office tells as well. In general, office tells are the ones who are much cleaner and cooler. But the problem is the price is a bit expensive. You should be aware of that. Yeah, and one room is like a place where I think most of college or university students used to live. And when you just get a job, I think that's the place where most of people go. And I lived in one room as well, and it's quite. Cozy in some ways. And what's next one?、Um, villa maybe, which is how should I explain this? So basically, it's like a small apartment building. So it's really small. It's usually up to like three to four floor, and there are many people living in there. Problem of villa is if you have a car,、uh, usually the villas doesn't have that much of parking lot, so it's gonna be quite hard to park your car. But villa will be the biggest among those three options. So next, how much do utilities like electricity, water, and internet typically cost each month? For me, um, electricity. I think it depends on like which season you live in. Because during summer, I spend a lot on electricity because I have to turn on that air conditioner, and it costs. A bit. I think I paid about like sixty thousand won, which is about fifty bucks. And water is usually included with my other services that I pay to the apartment. In my experience, when I lived in the one room, I think I had to pay every two months, and it was about like ten to twenty thousand won. And internet for me cost us about eighteen thousand won. I don't know if it's cheaper than other countries, but I mean, it will depend on like what kind of services you choose from the internet service company. So, 
Yeah. And what's next? What are the transportation options in Korea and how much do you spend on public transportation or owning a car? So first, I don't have a car, so I'm not sure how much people spend on a car. But when I hear from my friends, I think they spend about 100 to 150 bucks every month. So, and for me, I use public transportation for sure, like subway and a bus. And it depends like where you live and how far your company is and we, what kind of bus you have to take, what kind of subway you have to take. But for me, I spend about... So each time I take subway, I spend about like, 1,351. So it's, which is about like one box. So every day I spend two bucks and I go to office every day weekdays, which is five times a week and 20 times a month. So I should say I spend about 40 bucks on taking public transportations. But the good thing about Korean public transportation is that there is thing called like transfer system. So if you transfer from other transportation to other transportation, there are discounts, uh, like a huge discount. So I don't think you will spend that much on public transportation in Korea if you live in Seoul. And if you live in other country, I'm not sure because I don't live there. But if you live in other city, Mm, I think it will be cheap as well but the problem is there aren't that many buses so you will have to wait a lot on the bus station yeah and next that is how much do groceries cost and how does this compare to dining out a local restaurant um I think if I have to cook something I think it will be better for me to go to restaurant and buy things because as a person who lives alone, I have to spend a lot and I have to buy more amount than that I will actually spend on one meal, which can be kind of waste. But good thing about small grocery stores, as you all know, Koreans eat rice and like banchan things. I usually go to grocery stores to go buy banchan or some things to make the banchan because all I need is banchan, man. Like not cooking something cool. Because as a person living alone, if I buy too much amount of food, I get a pressure of that. I have to make the food again. I have to make the food again. So I just choose to buy the banchans, have the meal for myself. If I buy a banchan, it's one small box of like banchan costs about 30,000 won nowadays so which seems quite cheap for you guys but it seems quite expensive for me so and if i go to restaurant it costs about 8,000 won nowadays so yeah next question is it cheaper to cook at home or eat out in korea and what are the typical costs of common meals? Yeah, I've already covered this. I think it's cheaper to eat out in Korea nowadays if you live alone. But if you live with your family or friends, I think it's going to be better, cheaper to cook at home. Especially when I go out, I think there are like some cheaper foods to eat out, which are like tteokbokki or kimbap or those kind of things. We call those things as a... So bunshik is basically categorized of the food group. So I really recommend having bunshik when you visit Korea. Next, like, how much does healthcare cost in Korea? And is healthcare insurance affordable for residents and expats? I mean, as a resident, I think the health insurance is very affordable and the, the service is really good. I think most of foreigners love that as well. But I'm not sure all the expats can experience that as well. Because if you live in other country, the service you get from the government is quite different. So I'm not sure if it's the same to expats as well. But as a Korean local, um, it's really good. Next, what are the costs associated with entertainment such as going to the movies, cafes, or nightlife? The entertainment, <laughs> movies, is freaking expensive nowadays. I think it costs about like 50, 15 bucks for a movie. The reason why I don't go see the movies at all. And cafes, cafes are quite cheap because there are a lot of cafes in Korea, which cost about like 4,500 won for one iced Americano. As you all know, iced Americano is the best, the most common coffee you will see in a cafe. Yeah. Online is, is ordering that and I can spend like hours there, although I don't spend that much of hours. And nightlife. So nightlife, what kind of nightlife? Pass. Next, how expensive is clothing and shopping in Korea, especially for well-known brands or local Korean brand? 
I think it really depends, as you all know. So it depends where you go for shopping. If you guys go to Hongdae and like street street shops for shopping, I think you will be able to see cheaper prices. But if you go to a department store, the things are gonna be much expensive. And between that, there is thing called outlets. So if you go to outlets in Korea, it's much cheaper than department stores, but a bit expensive than. Uh, stores in street and even some street stores there are places called pyeonjip shop i don't know how we say that in english but on the place it's really freaking expensive they gather all the cool clothes from abroad fashion companies and like sell it in that place and the price is usually really expensive. All right, next. What are the hidden costs or unexpected expenses that foreigners often overlook when moving to Korea? I mean, it will really depend on which country you are coming from. If you have to go back to your country for renewing the visa, that cost can be a lot. And some extra charges can be done on your mobile phone if you use the service too much. But if you buy the correct service, this won't be a problem. And also, if you start living in a place, you will have to pay the price thing called maintenance fee, um, which can be really expensive. So you will have to see this maintenance fee before you find a house because you should consider not just rent, but this maintenance fee thing as well, which we say 관리비. And next, how affordable is education in Korea, particularly for international schools or language classes? Oh yeah, I have been to international school and it costs a lot, so I don't recommend going. It costs a lot. I mean, even when I lived in the States, it was much more. But in Korea, I spent about like 3 million or to 5 million every month. I mean, every semester or a month. I'm not sure. My parents were the ones who were paying that. That's why I stopped going to schools. Those freaking schools. And the language classes, I think the price will be much cheaper for the people from the United States for sure. It depends on like what kind of level you're at and like how good the tutor is. But I think the price about 20 to 30 bucks is like average, I guess. So yeah. Next, how does the cost of living in Korea compare to neighboring countries like Japan or China? This really depends as well because 10 years ago, the cost in Japan was much higher than Korea, but nowadays it's similar. As a Korean, we all say if you go to Japan, everything is much cheaper than Korea nowadays. But I'm not sure about China. I have been to China for several times, but I felt like yeah, things were cheaper in China as well. But the people were much more richer. I don't know why though. All right, next. What are the typical costs for fitness or recreational activities such as gym membership or hiking trips? So if you try to find a gym in Korea, it depends on how many days you buy. So if you go there for one day service, it will cost about 20 bucks. But if you pay for a, a year service, I think it's gonna cost about 500 bucks, I think. 300 to 5 bucks, depends on how good the place is. And hiking trips, I think usually is free, isn't it? I've never paid for hiking trips. Next. How much should someone budget per month to live comfortably in Korea, factoring in all the essentials? So I think this is something I can answer. It will depend on like which city in Korea you will live in, what kind of place you will get. But let's think about you will try to spend in a place where the rent fee is about 500 bucks. Then I think, I personally think, if you spend about 1500 bucks per month, it will be good enough because I spend about 1100 bucks every month and that's good enough. But try to make the budget higher than this because you should travel around a lot if you start living in Korea or visit Korea. And I really want you guys to have great experiences when you visit here. Hmm? So yeah, uh, that's it for today and hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope to see you guys again soon. Alright, bye bye, ciao!